Hello, I'll show you how table transformer model works and this model helps to detect uh, table inside the document and uh, also this another model from the same family that, which helps to recognize table structure to recognize uh, columns, rows and even header. Okay, so table transformer is a model from Microsoft and uh, it's available through Hugging Face. And this is the URL where you could uh, uh, read model description and uh, what you can do here, you can even test uh, uh, the model itself. You can upload your own uh, image. For example, here I could go and uh, uh, could go to this uh, sample folder where I have uh, sample documents. So over here And if I upload invoice, then the uh, model is loading. And um, for this sample document, we can see that model was able to detect two tables, uh, one and another. And this works quite well. Uh, and uh, this is quite simple document and I was testing with uh, real life actual documents. It also works uh, pretty well and uh, is able to handle uh, more complex use cases. So this is quite promising for enterprise solutions. And yeah, to, to if you want to run this model on your own infrastructure and build the use cases with this model, then the starting point should be a tutorial for the table transformer from Niels Roge. And this is the uh, notebook available here. And inside this notebook, you'll find step-by-step uh, -step, uh, code with uh, descriptions uh, about how to uh, first uh, detect the table and then crop the table from the image. And in the second step, then uh, you could use crop table image to identify table structure, columns, rows, uh, rows. and then this is a sample uh, algorithm uh, available in the notebook which describes how to uh, build uh, cells uh, from uh, using the intersection between rows and columns and then using OCR read data from those cells. Okay, and now if I go to say uh, here and I, what I did, I actually took the code from tutorial I mentioned before and integrated it into the Sparrow parse. It's not finished yet. So I'll do more work to build cells in uh, more advanced way, hopefully, and uh, uh, this would improve uh, data retrieval accuracy. And for now, what I'm doing, um, I, I just took the code as is and with some s small modifications and I'm testing out how it works. And the, the, the table transform model, uh, detection model, it returns array of uh, uh, rows, columns, and uh, headers. And you get a label for each element in the array. You get a label which describes what type of, uh, what type of the element, uh, where it belongs. Is it like a column, row, or, or a header? And then you get box coordinates, so you could uh, uh, crop an uh, entire row or column, and then using the intersection algorithm, you could uh, construct the cell, for example. So I'll show you the example here. I'm filtering out, for example, uh, all the table spanning cell elements, which I'm not interested in, and I'm filtering out all the uh, elements with score lower than 90%. And I'm displaying only uh, <coughs> elements that describe table first, right, and then let me run it. This runs on also on the sample document. Okay, it executed, and now if I go here, uh, the cropped table was generated, and you can see a red box. This is the uh, table, basically. Uh, uh, we visualize uh, coordinates uh, returned from the table transformer detector uh, and it uh, shows the area for the table, which makes sense. Then let's uh, debug and in the second step and let's display, uh, for example, 
ta table column header. This is another uh, another type of element which is det detected by table transformer detector model. And here we print out, for example, box coordinates for the element that we display on the image. Okay, it's done. And if you open the grid, we can see the header was detected, which is good. And then in the next step, we'll display a couple of elements like table column header and columns, uh, detected columns. So let's do that. Let's run. And this uh, this would help to read uh, column headers because we can find using the intersection between column and uh, horizontal line of the header where uh, where the boundaries for each column and this uh, would help us to read uh, values for the for the headers and this is what we get we get vertical lines columns and then we get uh, one horizontal line which shows where the header is located. Okay, and now the last test is where we display uh, header, uh, also display columns, so vertical lines and also display horizontal lines, rows. Okay, execute now. And you can see the model runs fast. Uh, and it runs, by the way, on, on CPU, on this, uh, on this test, uh, on this example, it runs on CPU, so it's very fast. And we get now both horizontal lines and vertical lines, and using intersections, we can calculate cells, and uh, using QCR, we could read this data uh, and return it in, for example, uh, CSV or JSON format, and then later we can feed it to LLM for the further processing, for example. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this demo about Table Transformer was useful. And I'm busy working now on integrating Table Transformer into Sparrow Parse. And I think it will become main solution inside Sparrow Parse uh, to process tables. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.